that's when I start. And I thought if, if we were to make a lower low, then I think people will start selling them. Yeah, so that's when the volume will probably come because there wasn't enough liquidity to defend this level. Uh, and that's what you're expecting. It's all about buying and selling. It's all about liquidity. It's all about supply and demand when it comes to the markets. And so what you have to contemplate is where do people want to buy? I mean, th there's a lot of interest in TRVO right now. There's a lot of interest, yeah? And so naturally people are looking for the best buy. And I think it's madness to sell right now. Madness. I literally think it's it's mental. You're, we lit, we're at the beginning of a bull market. We're at the lows. When you look at the whole range, the price range, it starts at $1.56 up here. That's the high. And the low all the way down to just under two cents, right? And right now, the price is trading at 3.9 cents. Yeah. So to get back to the all time low, it's 47% down, right? And to get back to the all time high, it's 3,938%. And yet people are selling. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Madness. <laughs> Madness. I don't get it. You, <laughs> I don't understand. People are selling <laughs> because they're what? They want 50%. And they're not buying <laughs> when they can have 4,000%. Doesn't make sense. But, you know, you can't explain this to people uh, if they don't understand how the markets work. So I'm not selling. I haven't sold. I didn't sell this pump. I didn't sell the lows. I'm not selling the lows. I see. I see that we are in the lows. Like, I can't, I can't, like... I can't explain this to you any better than I already have. Yeah. Look at the volume range. Look at the price range. Yeah. And look at where we are. This is the higher time frame. And I'm using log chart. If I was to use the price chart, um, maybe you would understand. Look at where we are. Compare it to, the, this is the price chart. Look how low we are. <laughs> we're low it's really low it's so low that you kind of have to crouch and like lie on the floor we're lying on the floor at the moment yeah and my my target is the highs i'm looking to take out those highs that's as a bull that's what you're doing you're trying you're you're aiming for the highs you're aiming for i'm aiming for that wick that's my that's my target as a bull yeah that is my target i am targeting the all-time high that's my that's my vision. My vision of the price is the all time high, right? And I'm looking at the all time. I'm looking at the higher time frame on the log chart. So I'm not. So it doesn't necessarily look low. You're looking at this. You're thinking, wait, it's not that low. We're like a kind of. It's not that far up. But remember, this is the log chart. So it, it is actually quite a distance. And I already said from where we are now to my target. I'm looking from where we are now, I'm looking at a 40x, a 40x. So $1,000 here is going to equal $40,000 at the all time high. And that's my target. That is my target, right? That's my first target. Doesn't mean I'm not going to take profit along the way. Yeah. I'm not going to take profit in the lows because we're in the lows and in the low liquidity environment. Yeah. If I was to take profit, it'll be, it'll be a lot more difficult to get back in. Yeah very difficult to get back in. If I'm selling a large amount of tokens in the lows, I'll have to scale back in over a longer period of time to get a better position. And before you know it, you'll wake up one day and the price is going to be 20 cents. Yeah. One time when you're asleep, you're probably going to wake up and the price is at 20 cents. It's not going to come back down. Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't make any sense. Like what I'm, what I'm saying is at the lows, you don't sell, you buy, right? Now, I'm not saying people shouldn't trade. People should trade. Let's trade. Yeah, if you want to trade, what you can do 